in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set the target frame rate for your application in Unity. Now, in order to do this, you have to make sure that VSync is turned off. Otherwise, Unity will prioritize trying to synchronize with the refresh rate of your monitor. So, one way to do that would be to go to Edit Project Settings, Quality, and look at our VSync count right here, which is currently set to every V blank. You'd want Don't VSync. But in this case, we'd like to do everything from script, so we have an empty script here we're going to fill out. Um, to start with, we'll write the script code, which disables vsync. vsync count, set that to zero, which is the same thing as turning it off. And then the other thing we're going to need to do is call application.targetFrameRate, and you can set this to whatever number you want. I mean, not that you would want 20, but it might be a good experiment to try here. So let's go ahead and run that. And sure enough, we're getting about 20. But uh, if we want to see this update in real time, let's go ahead and expose a variable to the editor. We'll say public int target, default this to something reasonable like 60. And then what we're going to do is an update. We'll check to see if it's changed and, and apply it. If target uh, does not equal Application.target frame rate, then let's go ahead and change it. Okay, and let's try that. Go ahead and select our object. We have this value. It's uh, pretty close to 60, but let's drag this around. And you guys can see that changing. So this could be useful if you want to test maybe some movement code. So that runs like that in um, at around 50 frames a second. But if we go down to not 185, but maybe two frames a second, let's see what that looks like. OK. Obviously, we have some problems in our movement code. And setting our term target frame rate was a good way to test that.